<laughs> Guys, what's going on, man? Welcome back to another Instagram TV special. You know what? Don't worry too much about my tie. It's all good. You know what? I don't really care about this place. No way. But you know what? Today is about continuing the gratitude assessment. It's round two today. We got to get into these questions, all right? And it brings a really good sense of awareness because a lot of you are unaware of what you actually have around you, what you have tapped into, especially as an individual, skills, qualities that you've inherited or that you have developed. And that's what we're going to start off with today. We're going to start off with question number one. Question number one goes like this. Three great gifts of unique talent or skills you've been given or that you have created. Now, remember, I told you guys that my throat chakra, I developed the, the, my speaking ability by, well, you know what? Someone telling me that I had a great voice. Remember, I told you that I had that mentor by the name of Edward that said, you know what? You're not utilizing all your skills. You have a radio voice. And a lot of people, when I initially send them a message, I say, I, I give them my voice message and they always talk about my energy level. So these are you. This is something that has been developed. I haven't always had this because I was extremely shy about 17 years ago at the beginning stages of my high school career, and so well, of course of high school. So how was I able to develop this? Well, I just started, and you know what? Going into everything and going over the things that I've been through here in Thailand and developing over and over and beginning my podcast at the very beginning. That's how everything began to change. So I'm so grateful for that. Um, again, other unique, uh, you know, unique skills and talents I've developed has probably been writing. And you know what? I mean, even doing a test preparation course, which I teach out here in Thailand, it's called TOEFL. I just started teaching it again after a year, and now it is by far, it's extremely easy to teach it compared to what it was a year ago. Why? Because my ESL podcast has become a byproduct of who I am and how I teach. So all of these things, the reading, the this, the that, and everything that I teach in terms of my ESL podcast, it has equated over to a massive success in terms of how I deliver my lessons with the test preparation courses. So now I am a complete beast with teaching these test preparation courses. Hey, guys, it's a byproduct of everything. So everything is beginning to unfold the way it should. So let's get into the next question. Three great gifts of knowledge and experience I've been given so far. <sighs> well, you know what? One thing that really hit home with me it had to be the dentist that I worked for out there in Australia. He said, what are you? And I said, well, I'm black. And he stopped drilling while he was in the patient's mouth. And he looked at me. He said, excuse me. I said, I'm black. He said, you're not even black. You're brown. Don't ever say that again. And I was just like, I was struck like, oh, my God, this guy's about to fire me. Because I've been so politically incorrect in terms of what America has taught me for so long. I've told you guys this on a number of occasions. And he said, what is your heritage? And then from that point forward, I said, I'm not black, I'm American. And I have heritage from probably about five to 10 different places. You know what even gets me is, of course, a reading in that TOEFL book. And then, and that writer or the writers of TOEFL referring to people as white and black. And I'm like, this is sick. They actually say white people and black people? But in America, that's what they've been taught. So that's the that's the experience I got from someone to not only look at myself as a black man. I am American. I am the fabric that holds together everything. See, you could change that language, that reactive language and make it proactive. You're not black. You are whatever heritage you are, but you are oneness. People would say you are God force, depending on what religion and what your beliefs are. I'm just saying it's something to consider. So I want you guys to write down three great gifts of knowledge and experience that you've been given so far. And the last one, three ways in which your life is wealthy, abundant and prosperous. Oh, man. Honestly, man, to be honest with you, living here in Thailand, it just makes me realize even more how fortunate I am, because guess what? Just a couple years ago. Not even a couple years ago, before Thailand, what was I doing? Even nine years ago, when I first started off my dental assistant career, I hated my job. I hated the way those dentists treated me. Treated me like dog shit. 
paid me like dog shit, overworked me, no lunches. And now I'm out here inspired, regardless of all the transgressions and opinions of other people. That's it. The opinions and the monolithic perceptions bestowed on the mindsets of these individuals out here in this country has nothing to do with me. But it has made me realize my true gift and how I can deliver this gift. Oh, my God. It's wealthy in all different ways. Let me give you one thing that I'm so grateful for. I was walking over the bridge after, of course, um, working yesterday. Massive storm came in, swept everyone. Goddamn floods everywhere. It didn't matter. Took the train home. As I was walking over this bridge, I made a little left-hand turn to walk over the main road. There's a little girl walking. She had a backpack. She looked dead in my eyes and gave me a smile. And I was like, I was just like thrown off. I was like, what? She just, just, she was just looking at me. She... Just a big smile from corner to corner. And I walked home, I said, ho oh, oh. ho! That was one of the best smiles I've ever gotten. And you know what, those little things right there, we take those for granted. We take them for granted. And in that moment, I realized that I am truly grateful for everything, both, what, both with what, you know, what society says, good and bad. But that right there had to be one of the greatest smiles I've ever gotten in my life because it was genuine, it was from the soul. It wasn't from the heart, it was from the soul. Had to be because it took me off, it caught me off guard. See right there, man, abundance people is everywhere. Prosperity is everywhere, it's at your hands. But it takes someone to show you that it is present. And that's why I listen to, of course, Reverend Michael Bernard Beckwith and so many other people that inspired the hell out of me. And that's what I'm just truly grateful for in this moment. So guys, three questions, part two's down. Let me know what your thoughts are. And again, make sure you comment on my IGTV or YouTube over and out.